Welcome to your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Be sure to check out your exclusive discount offer at the end of your free lesson. The button symbol type is somewhat like the movie clip symbol type in that it has its own timeline and only needs one frame within the main timeline to function. However, button symbols do not play back their timeline automatically and do not loop in a traditional sense. The button timeline is only four frames long and each frame plays only when the user interaction matches the state of the button. The four states or frames are called up, over, down, and hit. And you may have seen buttons in web pages before that are continuously moving or doing something even though you're not pointing to them with your mouse, or you may have seen buttons that once you roll over them or click them then begin an animation of some sort. And those buttons are built using movie clip symbols in each of the four states of the button. So taking into consideration movie clips and buttons, you can begin to see how several things can be going on within one frame of the main timeline, all independently of each other. Button symbols are most easily built from the ground up, starting with an empty stage. We'll also cover how to build a button symbol later on in the tutorial when we cover user interface components. Now when converting an object to a button symbol or creating a new one, as with any other symbol, you have to give it a name. So in this example, we have just the button button. And there's no set naming scheme or convention you need to use when creating the symbol, but the convention used for naming symbol instances is important and will be discussed later. Now as with your graphic and movie clip symbols, you can import buttons from the document libraries of other fla flash documents by just clicking the new symbol button in the library panel. So for example, if we were in a different let's say this test flash file, we wanted to go get the button from another project. Once again, you could just say insert new symbol and give it a name and select the type. And then you can use the browse button to select the flash document that has the symbol in its library that you want to use. Click open and you'll see all the symbols from the selected library of the selected flash document. You can just choose the one that you want. So here we're importing button into our document library here. And then once again you can just create instances of the button as needed within the document. Thank you. We hope you enjoyed your free video lesson from Teach You Comp Incorporated. Like what you see? Pick up your copy of our complete tutorial today and be sure to visit us at www.teachucomp.com slash YouTube for your special bonus offer. Our complete tutorial featuring introductory through advanced material is available on CD-ROM or digital download. You will receive our high quality video lessons plus printable instruction manuals in one easy to use training package. With over two dozen titles to choose from, you'll be sure to find the training you need in Microsoft Office, QuickBooks, Photoshop, and much more. Visit us today!